I want to let you guys know about some free resources that we have made available on our website. Today, I want to show you another straightforward two-player addition game to add single-digit numbers and work on even and odds. This is another video for our series on game schooling with the basics. I'm Leanne and I want to inspire families to learn through play. If that's you, make sure to subscribe. This is a real simple game to set up. If you've watched our earlier videos, you know we are always using a deck of UNO number cards. This time, we also want to add in our wild cards into the deck. If you have a regular deck of playing cards, that will also work. And you might also want some way to keep a running score for each player. If you are working on specific addition or subtraction of numbers, you can target those as well by narrowing the number range. I usually pull out the zeros, the ones, and the twos, as well as the threes for this game. What is important in the prep is to make sure that the range of numbers has an equal number of evens and odds. If your learners need some assistance with calculation, we always encourage them to check with the abacus. Now, the objective of the game is to be the player with the highest score at the end. Place the shuffle deck in easy reach of all players. Each player starts with five on their score sheet. Starting from the first player, flip the top card and identify if it is an even or an odd number. If it is an even number, add it to their running score. If it is an odd number, subtract it. A player's score can never go below zero. If a player encounters a wild card, they may make an exception to the even and odd rule by adding the next card below it, even if it is odd. If your learner is ready, then they can try to add to their running score first and then check on the advocates if they are correct. So that's mental math. If you'd like to find out other ways to use mental math in-game, make sure to check it out at the end of this video or in the description box afterwards. Real quick, two Miss Game School updates that I wanted to share with everyone. I want to let you guys know about some free resources that we have made available on our website. You can download a list of all the gateway games that we have used in our game school for language arts, arithmetic, and thinking skills. There are more game lists covering different topics that will continually be added. So if you would love to get one of those lists, head to our resource page on www.missgameschool.com, enter your email, and it will get sent to your inbox. Second thing, if you are so inclined to support this channel, now you can do it through our Buy Me A Coffee link on the website as well. You can now reach out, have a chat, and get direct access and individualized consultations on how to achieve your learning goals through games. Now let's get back to the video. Another variation to this game uses regular playing cards with numbers and the jester card instead. Players start with 10 points on their score, add red suits and subtract black suits. If a player turns over a jester card, she can add the next card to her score regardless of whether it is red or black. If your learners still need more work on number sense or addition and subtraction fluency, make sure to check out our videos in the links below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you get to try this quick little game soon and I will see you in the next video. Next